finish off the stropping on this blade of evil. Now, it's not necessarily a test, but it's very indicative of just how sharp the blade is. And that's when I finish with the strop, I wipe it off on a cloth. And if the knife is very, very sharp, it cuts the cloth. So again. cuts the cloth. Now, the other thing that a feedback from for Ralph is this. Yes, I did back it off on one side and the forging on this was I say it's hand forged, bang bang, he's turned apparently he's turned a coil spring into a flat blade. He does have a V taper to it. About this side, look how uniform it is. Ready? Steady. There's my groin. And there's his forging. Now I did the same approaches on both sides. So that side obviously is hand forged. But what he was doing that side, you can see the where a castle is there. There's his plunge line. From I imagine there to the end, he hasn't got any high spots that caught the blade. I've beat on it, it takes an edge. It takes that's a hell of an edge. There you go. There you go. It's just me not getting used to the actual geometry of it. It's very good. So update for Rolf. If you just back your edge up, your performance will go up. I was doing it as well. I was doing it as well. You have big chunky obviously my stuff leaf springs and the more I got to you know, take off. But on blades this size, I don't know what grinder you've got, but if you just if that was your edge, obviously it's not as abrupt as that, alright, just back it back a little, touch more forging on there, flattening it out on the actual edge, up through, a bit more forging, I see a lot of time on grinder or file, however you're doing it, and you're going to get some far greater performance with a minimal loss of strength, that's great. Great. Let's go for some blades. <laughs>